Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Acara kami menyediakan banyak bahasa. Silakan lihat suprememastertv.com garis miring schedule. Ethiopian Art, Part 3 of 3. Continue watching to find out more. Salam is hello or peace in Amharic, one of the languages spoken in the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. I'm Jerry Tu. The big-hearted people of Ethiopia Wish you success in all your noble and benevolent endeavors. Welcome to our program, Ethiopian Art Part 3 of 3. The Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia is home to one of the oldest civilizations in the world. For centuries, its brilliant history and multi-religious culture have nurtured many beautiful art forms. Today, we would like to share with you a unique episode about two of these arts, Ethiopian traditional music and dance. Similar to that of other cultures, Ethiopian music reflects aspects of religion, culture, and daily life. For example, Ethiopian Orthodox Christian spirituality involves music performed with various traditional instruments. The main folk instruments of Ethiopia are the Begna, the Kira, the Masinko, the Washind, the Sistrum, and the Kabero. The Begna, a large instrument with 10 strings, is the earliest recorded Ethiopian musical instrument. Also known as the Harp of David, the Begna is associated with the Kinar of ancient Israel one of the first string instruments mentioned in the Bible. It is believed that King David played the kinner to soothe King Saul's nerves and heal him of insomnia. Throughout history, the begana was performed primarily as an accompanying instrument during meditation and prayer. Its high vibrational timbre and unique buzzing sound inspire feelings of peace and calm. Nowadays, the begna is still used during prayer and ritual ceremonies. Alemu Aga is a famous Ethiopian begna artist who has performed in many countries since the early 1990s. In 1995, he released the album End Jerusalem for acoustic music in Germany, together with an esteemed kra player named Asnake Woku. Then, in 2009, he released another CD, The Begna of the Elders, The Harp of David in Ethiopia, which features Begna music performed by other artists. Ethiopian Begna music presents a window into the long history of Ethiopia, revealing ancient cultural epics and bringing moments of peace to listeners. The Ethiopian Masinko, a single-stringed instrument played with a bow, is used in many parts of the country by ethnic groups such as the Amhara, the Tigrians, and the Oromo. The masinko is a type of fiddle that is often played to accompany folk songs. Sometimes, the masinko is performed while singers repeat words and poems suggested by the audience.
is one of Ethiopia's most popular traditional instruments. The masinko is an icon of Ethiopian musical culture. In the hands of a professional musician, the simple masinko can produce a wide variety of melodies. From wandering singers to professional musicians, particularly at traditional restaurants or local cafeterias called bunabet, the melodies of the masinko can be heard. It is also a core instrument in cultural bands at government theater houses. Everyone has heard of the guitar. But not many know of its origins. The Ethiopian craw is the ancestor of the guitar. The craw is a six-stringed lyre played with the fingers or with a plectrum. A popular instrument in East Africa, the craw is derived from the ancient seven-stringed Greek lyre, which traveled to different lands along the Nile River. The Ethiopian craw, which is also a core instrument of cultural bands, has many variations and playing techniques. Generally, the strings of a craw are tuned to C, D, E, G, A, C for ballad performances, or the Ethiopian musical genre known as tzitza. The music produced by the craw depends on the player's performance techniques. For example, bowing, strumming, or plucking can produce different timbres from the same craw. If plucked, a craw can produce a soft tone, and if strummed, it will yield a harmonious pulsation. A modern craw is equipped with an electric amplifier for performances, much in the same way as an electric guitar. <laughs> Among Ethiopian craw players, Asnaket Woku is the country's most famous traditional female musician. Asnaket's music enriched the repertoire of Ethiopian folk songs, and her hits such as End Jerusalem are still performed by many Ethiopian artists today. <laughs> Gracious viewers, we'll now pause for a moment to hear a brief message. We'll return shortly. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program on Ethiopian music and dance. We'll now continue by examining more fascinating folk instruments. Besides the begna, masinko, and craw, many Ethiopians perform on the washind, an end-blown wooden or bamboo flute. The instrument is learned at a very young age and is typically played by farm workers. The flute generally has four to six holes and varies in length. One of the most popular washind musicians is Johannes Efwerg. Who was a member of the famous Orchestra Ethiopia, founded in 1963? He popularized the instrument through his distinctive style, while keeping its traditional mode and tonality. Johannes Afwerk's album Washint Melodies is a collection of ten of his beautiful and relaxing washint pieces. <laughs> Amharic musicians traditionally narrated their oral history through song using instruments like the washind, craw, and masinko. Another traditional Ethiopian instrument is the sistrum, which originated in ancient Egypt. The sistrum is a sacred percussion instrument that has a U-shaped metal frame with horizontal crossing bars and bronze rings. In Egypt, the handle of a sistrum was engraved with the face of Hathor, the goddess of music, dance, beauty, and love. By shaking a sistrum, musicians created clanking and jangling sounds, which they believed could avert Nile floods and chase away the god of the desert, Set. 
Today, the system has remained in use in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church as a religious musical instrument and is generally played in the dance performances of cantos at important church festivals. The folk drums of Ethiopia, such as the kebero and atmo, are used in many traditional music and dance performances. The double-headed kebero drum is a conical hand drum. Large versions of the kebero drum are used in Ethiopian Orthodox Christian liturgical music performances, while smaller versions are used in secular ceremonies, weddings, and funerals. The small atomo drum, which is held in the hand or under the arm, is played with the fingers and palms. <laughs> Ethiopian traditional music with integrated ancient Christian elements can be traced back to the native composer Saint Yared, who was the creator of religious music for the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Moreover, the Muslim musical form Manzuma was originally sung in the Amharic language. Later, Manzuma spread to other cities such as Hora and Jimma, where it is now rendered in the Oromo language. Traditional secular music is performed mostly by wandering musicians whose verses are improvised and accompanied by the masinko or kra. <laughs> Most Ethiopian musicians sing both traditional and popular songs, and more recently, some prominent internationally acclaimed Ethiopian singers have brought the country's traditional music and songs to the world stage. For example, Ejigage U Shibabo, known as Gigi, has performed the music of Ethiopia in combination with various other genres. Munich Mesfin is an Ethiopian singer and songwriter who performs in Amharic and English while blending in inspiration from traditional Ethiopian songs. Malik Hadero is known for her unique soulful performance style, which combines elements of jazz, folk, and Ethiopian traditional music. <laughs> In Ethiopia, traditional dance and music are closely related. As we know, Ethiopia is comprised of various tribes and ethnic groups with distinctive cultural dances. The coexistence of so many dance variants makes Ethiopia a vibrant art community. The Tigrayan dance and Eskita dance are considered to be the most popular dances in the country. The Tigrayans in the northern area have a relatively gentle circular dance, usually performed in groups of women and men. It is characterized by shoulder and neck movements accompanied by foot stepping and the rhythmic music of traditional musical instruments. Dancers wear costumes called gabi or natella, which are generally white colored and have intricate loose designs. Tigrayan people also have an energetic kabero drumming dance, which is performed at a fast tempo. The Amhara people living in the central area of Ethiopia have a famous dance known as Eskista, which means dancing shoulders. Eskista is a traditional Amhara cultural dance performed by everyone, even children. Known for its unique emphasis on intense shoulder movements, the dance is done with complex moves such as shoulder blade rolling, shoulder bouncing, and jiggling of the chest. Eskista is one of the most highly technical traditional dances. During a performance, the dancers are storytellers who express the culture and life of their community through their movements. Eskista is usually performed at weddings, religious and traditional ceremonies, and festival celebrations. Other ethnic groups, such as the Oromo and the Gurds, 
also have distinctive performance styles, such as dancing in lines or using acrobatic gestures. Thank you to all of Ethiopia's traditional artists, musicians, and dancers for preserving the beautiful Ethiopian art forms and giving such beautiful performances. May God bless the artistic Ethiopian people with abundant life and great wisdom. Imaginative viewers, we hope you have enjoyed our program today, Ethiopian Art Part 3 of 3. Up next is Rodolf Longdemain, vegan, a baker and pastry chef reinventing France's traditional baking arts, part two of four, right after Note Worthy News. May your spirit resonate in heaven's magnificence. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AJAR. <laughs>